Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and I'm going out on one of my morning e-bike rides, and it had a little bit of subject matter that I thought maybe I'd share uh, as I go over to a construction zone uh, where they're building new houses and they're putting roof trusses on the top of the house. So uh, that's coming up, but uh, coming up here, uh, if you remember my last video, if you've been following my channel, a dog came running out uh, and chasing me, uh, on from the yard right here on the left and uh, and he, the, he had done that she is found out it's a she she had done that before and actually nipped at my foot so my wife uh, decided she put a little a blurb on the uh, the local Facebook uh, community page uh, that uh, you know there's a dog on our street there and don't let your children get uh, come by on their bicycles and then so uh, anyway, so then word got to, to the lady that owns the dog, and she's she's not young, and I, I won't say that she, I won't tell you her, her age, but she was like, you know, close to my age, and uh, her husband's on oxygen, and she was so apologetic, she just uh, bent, uh, bent over, tried to, you know, bent over backwards trying to apologize, and so uh, we had a very nice visit, and we became actually good friends, but what happens is, She's got this dog that's 14 years old, which you saw in that past video, and uh, it, it it just insists upon digging underneath the fence, and they they're doing everything they can to keep it in, but and the the some of the neighbors are helping them also with that, but uh, anyway, so I didn't know anything about that. I just saw the dog, and I, so now we know know each other quite well, and she really apologized, and I said okay. So, uh, and I also gave her some, some ideas that I've used with dogs before. So when, you know, when she found out that uh, I really loved the dogs, and uh, I, when, if you watch my last video um, called The Dog Chased My E-Bike or something like that, you'll see. But anyway, I also wanted to tell a story, uh, a little short one here, of when I was a kid. 1950, I was eight years old, and... Uh, uh, my mom and dad had a 1937 Plymouth <laughs> that was wearing out, falling apart. My dad, uh, the, uh, the the driver's side window uh, in the door, uh, the, it broke, so the window wouldn't stay up. So what my dad did is he just grabbed a hold of the window and then pulled it up, and then he wedged the screwdriver in where it came down. And so in the winter time. He had a little bit of closed <laughs> closed in, and I remember seeing that, and it just wasn't very. It just wasn't looking too good. And our neighbors uh, that lived next door, actually, it was you know we we're out in the woods. Our house was out in the woods, but anyway, uh, our neighbor had they had just gotten a brand new Hudson, uh, big, uh, you know, boat type of car, <clears throat> and uh, my folks wanted to take a little vacation trip. And so they said, well, just borrow this car, you know, borrow our car. And so uh, they took off. We went to the, this was the Seattle area, went out uh, on the Olympic Peninsula and uh, went up and, and uh, went to a place called Olympic Hot Springs. And, and uh, it was really nice warm water, and we just had a good time. So anyway, uh, when they got back, they decided, uh, hey, all right, uh, we have... We, they could see the difference between the 1950 uh, Hudson and the uh, 1937 Plymouth. So, so they went out shopping for a new car, and they actually found uh, one. It was a Nash Ambassador, and it was big. I mean, it was so big that uh, <laughs> uh, it, it carried all ten people. Uh, my my grandma and grandpa, my aunt Chloe, my aunt Janice. And my mom and dad, and uh, us. Uh, I see. Do we have four kids yet? Anyway, us us kids. So no, it was. I can't remember if we had my littlest, my little brother by then or not. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so uh, that way, and then they they were able to uh, take us on trips, and so the the uh, the first thing they wanted to do was to uh, drive back to. Uh, Joplin, Missouri, where my Aunt Chloe and my grandma had grown up because they had a brother back there in, uh, in uh, Missouri uh, whose name was, Unc we called him Uncle Frank, and he was getting pretty old, and he lived in a house that uh, had no electricity, 
And so it was, uh, it was, uh, you know, the old lamp type things, uh, kerosene lamps. And then he didn't have any plumbing, and so there was a little outhouse outside. <laughs> and it was a nice, it was nice two-story house. But I remember when I walked in the first time, uh, boy, that was uh, the smell of kerosene. <laughs> it was uh, you got used to it after a while. But he and he didn't have running water. Had to go out. He had there was a well and it had a crank on it and everything so that he could he could uh, put the bucket down, get it full of water and crank it back up and so that and he wouldn't let anybody else do it because nobody knew how to do it right. <laughs> so so he he uh, uh, that's how he got his water. No electricity and he'd been living in that house all of his life just like that. So it was pretty normal to him and to us it was like wow this is an experience for sure and of course they had what's called a white owl I don't know if you know what that is but like if you had to uh, uh, use the bathroom in the middle of the night that's what you used so I'll just leave it with that <laughs> and then in the morning you go dump it maybe that'll help you understand so anyway that's that was what uh, my my folks and I'll have to tell you more about that trip uh, because I'm running out of time but uh, my folks were really happy with that car, and they had it for quite a few years. It was a 1950 Nash Ambassador. And uh, so these guys uh, are almost finished with this, uh, getting this uh, uh, strut on there, or truss, I'm sorry, and about ready to upload another one. And uh, my son would enjoy this. He likes construction. I want to thank you for watching my videos, and God bless.